He, you almost had me human, but I went again. No! Oh my god. I immediately thought of, um, oh no, what's his name? From One Piece, the skeleton. How he, um, how he laughs with, like, the no! Oh, poor Papyrus. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. Bye, Ice Cube. And my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? <laughs> Walla loser. No, I want to be friends with Papyrus. He's my chum. He's my bal. He's my good time boy. Let's be friends. Oh, and his music's back again. There we go. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through it. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then... When you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr... Dreamer? Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyways... That's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> do 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 um, Papyrus? How did you walk on water? Papyrus? Well, I know he's at home. Kinda wanna go in there. Right, can I skip the inn? Welcome to the Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Stay. Here's your winky. Make sure to bundle up. I can't skip, I'm sorry. Oh no, I can! Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Nice. Nice. Right, stats. Um, yeah, manly bandana. Well, first, let's save it. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save. Oh, we've already been recording for that long. We'll keep going. Oh, something I did create. Um, the Resident Evil Episode 2 should have it first. But I created an outro. I really, really would like your opinion on it. If you do reach the end of the video, please reach the end of the video. Because um, I like it. You know, it was fun. It was silly. I had fun in making it and everything. So I hope you enjoy. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. We're going to Grilby's, aren't we? Oh, never mind. My house! Dude, same. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. What's this? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Is that dog again? Sorry, I'm just jamming out to the music again. What? Catch that maiden and canine! Curses! 
Hi, Sans. Bye, Sans. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. What about in here? Aha! Interested in my feud museum? Please. Pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labelled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Oh, I thought I could steal an item or something. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Okay. Um, what's this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. What about this book? It's a joke book. Take a look. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. You know what? You know what? That's fair. Welcome to the scenic. My house. Enjoy and take your time. What about up here? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? No, no, not yet, not yet. What about this? A classic. It's my piece de la resistance. It always reminds me of what's important in my life. Bones. Fair. The door is locked. Alright, you know what? Date night. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Also, I know I'm terrible with voices. I tried to just put a bit of enunciation on it. <laughs> What's this? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. First, the internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Wait. A dozen is 12, but you only need 10. Are you on negative two followers? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Is it Comic Sans by any chance? Does he send it you in Comic Sans? If so, I might know who it is. That book's one of my favourites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favourites. Peekaboo with a Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. What are these then? Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. For some reason, I immediately went to... Oh, it's another character we're going to meet. Isn't that Flag Nido? Undyne found it out of bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Whoa. <laughs> well then, Papyrus. Should we move this to the one area that we've always wanted? The bed. And you know what happens on the bed? Pillow fights. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So they said I cruise while I snooze. Oh, I guess we're not going to the bed. Then. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. 
Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. I kind of don't know why I expected that. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Oh. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press your controller's triangle button for the dating code. Wowie, I feel so informed. Okay, we've got a fishing game, we've got population control, we've got an egg, that's very important, we need that. We know what crime's going on in this city, and we've got a dog um, radar, so we, so we know. Also, it's a Friday night, even though technically it's not. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask him on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. But you're already wearing the best clothes ever. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes, yes I have Papyrus, you are the best of boys. I apparently killed him. <laughs> no, you planned it all. Curse you. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're dating power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. Oh no, attention bar. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! My god, he's amazing. He is the pinnacle of man. I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with X. Is it your hat? My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah. Well, and you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Just for you. Open it. <gasps> Not your spaghetti. I can't believe it. I can eat more. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old spaghetti. This is art. <laughs> this is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken casket. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go on any further. Oh, but it can, Papyrus. Because I'll do the one thing you never expected. I will eat your spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. <laughs> the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe you have more than I do. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> I love papyrus. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. 
It's time, lad, I told you. Aye, Papyrus. Aye. Um. Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, it's you, Papyrus. I'm here till the end with you, my boy. Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't feel like anything. Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. An act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry. Because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I hope you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically, of course. Well, gotta go. Yeah. I can't believe it. I thought I finally found my true love and he's gone. How will I ever recover from this? How will you ever recover from this? From fighting on the battlefield where our love blossomed to being rejected not 10 minutes later. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Anyway, let's continue on. <laughs> I love that. That was fun. Didn't think I'd experience a dating simulator in this game, but here we are. And now we get to go through this again. <laughs> That was great. I wasn't expecting a whole dating sim with Papyrus. Oh, it's you again. Hello. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Who? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I'm going to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay. All that gives my life validation, it's explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. The, oh, I'm an idiot. It's an echo flower. <laughs> Yo, Sans. What? Haven't you sang the guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required points. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Well, if you insist, I'll find myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. How? Yes. Hey, everyone. <laughs> hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. <laughs> hey, Sans. Were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put wobby cushions on the seats. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? Well, of course it's gotta be a burger. I mean, it's called Grillby's for a reason, so give me that um, half pounder, double cheese, uh, ketchup, mustard, mm, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. There we go, there we go. Grubbies will have a double auger of burg. Why are you combing your hair? So, what do you think of my brother? 
You know what? He's a cool guy. I love Sans. Papyrus. Sorry, I'm in the middle of heartbreak at the moment, Sans. He ruined me. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bone. Appetite. <laughs> you tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup is in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Ah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Why are you scratching your butt? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's um, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I want to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? I've heard of the echo flower, so I'm going to say no. I'll tell you then. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and then repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you fuck the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No, no. Just kidding. Real bees, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Can I eat my burger? N my burger? My, my burger, man. I didn't even get to eat. I would have had the ketchup covered burger, my dude. I did not mind. You know? Well, I guess you don't know. Wow, we've been recording for 50 minutes all there. And we didn't even leave the town. <laughs> I mean, I guess we did leave the town, but at the same time, we didn't leave the town because we're still here. <laughs> do, 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 do. I do like this transition. It's kind of load in a new area. Right, let's keep going. Right, what's this? All that gives me my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Fair enough. The sound of washing water fills you with determination. Save. Yo, Sans. Let's hang out again sometime. Oh, it's a box. Use the box? Yes. Tough glove, stick. I'll bring that with me because I remember from um, a comment that you might need the stick. Now, however, unfortunately, I do think they meant for the dog fights, which unfortunately was already pre-recorded because, you know, how it is. But we got the stick. Um, yeah, so don't use that. That says to give to spiders. That says to give to spiders. I don't want to eat mum's butterscotch pie because it's mum's butterscotch pie. So I'll just keep these two. Like, it's the only thing I have of Toriel. Hmm. Oh, thank God. 
Hello, Mr. Echo Flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, okay. Huh? There's a camera behind a waterfall. I mean... Okay. But, but, but where do I go? I don't go that way, clearly. Do I go this way? Oh! Oh no! Oh! Right, I get it. I thought I was actually going to kill me. Oh wait, no, should it be like all the TikTokers? That was going to unalive me. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no, never mind, it's supposed to be dynamic lighting. I do like that. It's at night. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Um, regarding that human I called you about earlier? Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying. You don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... Are you going to defend me, Papyrus? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Papyrus, no! Oh. Oh god. This is like a boss fight, boss fight. Oh, never mind. It's not a boss fight, boss fight. Hey, kid. What are you doing here? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What you did to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch you beat up some bad guys. <laughs> Feeling of drag hands over you, but stay determined. We can keep going a bit longer, I guess. What's this? Oh. Oh, neat. They've got their cute little mouse noise. <laughs> and boop. Oh, I had to press X, so I guess I was unconsciously doing that. Aaron flexes in. Well, I'm gonna flex back. What's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? Attacking feast for you two. Flexing Cortez? Okay, flex more. Come on, brah. Ho 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 ho. What, you think like you can outflex me? Check this out. <laughs> he, <laughs> he flexes thrice as hard. Nice. I won't lose low. Oh, Jesus. Those big ass hands. <laughs> He's ready for your next flex. Alright, let's go then. He flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. I will take 30 gold. I will immediately take 30 gold. <laughs> do, do, do. Oops. Do, do, do. No? Did I, did I do it wrong? Maybe the oh maybe there's a trick up here. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call the bridge seeds back to where they started. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I've got an idea. I've got a big brain idea. So if I do that, I think the blossom seeds have to go in rows of four. Like what we just taught. So, although it shows all these paths of two, 
I do this and then finish it up here, these should bloom now. Yes. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. I felt so smart just for the game to immediately insult me. By the way, that border. Love it. <sighs> I only just, I kind of got tunneled vision, so I didn't notice that the, uh, the dynamic border changed, but I'm all for it. Wait, is that not right? No, it's not. So I need to find a place where you can get four. That's three. Three. Three, two, three, three, two. Wait. Idea. Big brain idea. See if it works. Nope. Hmm. Oh, I've got an idea. One, two, three. Failed. <laughs> No, I will figure this out later because my PlayStation's telling me I'm reaching basically the end of this recording. So, on that note, feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. And off we go. So, I do want to make a quick apology. I We skipped a small section with Undyne because I was recording, but my voice wasn't. So when I stopped the recording because I thought I would close the game and, you know, get rid of it all. It didn't save the recording, so it kind of... We lost 10 minutes there. I do massively apologise for that. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 year to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, I'll use it. Cheers, sons. Um... Sans, did you put ketchup on the uh, on the telescope? Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. Chip. I was literally about to say cheers, but Sans, w what is this? Why, why do I have pink eye? Use the box. Yes, yes, we shall. Put the stick away. Oh wow, we actually only have two um two slots left, one minute. Put you Right, keep the snowman piece, keep the monster candy. Actually I'll take the monster candy. Right, let's throw those those items away. Drop. The stick was thrown away. Drop. The tough glove was thrown away. What's up here? Oh pardon me, what's up here? I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every single time you buy an ice cream, you take a punch card from the box. If you're free, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. An ice cream! It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25g. Yeah, I'll take one. Super! Here you go. Your card's in the box. Okay. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavours. <laughs> and when they rediscovered it, but like, my god, this ancient civilization, they were very, very into mint chocolate ice cream. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. No, I'm not. Unfortunately, I am a YouTuber, but I'm not a star yet. Uh, this cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. 
It's stuck to the table. Oh wait, why am I going backwards? My apologies. I'm meant to go down. Well no, we've got down, but we've got right. So let's go right first, shall we? Oh, it's stuck. Hey, little buddy. Um, I don't have anything for you, unfortunately. Wait. Info. It's a two-pronged popsicle. You can eat it twice. What about the cinnamon bun? Uh, cinnamon roll in the shape of a bunny. I don't think the uh, the duck will eat that. Bye, duck. Kind of wish I knew what I could give you. Right, let's go this way. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh, don't say that. Surely there's no such thing. Oh. Oh, it's you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, what was that? Hello? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take them? Yes. Okay. Uh, ballet shoes. Weapon attack seven. These used these used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Well, luckily, I don't need ballet shoes, so. And gave it a little pat. <laughs> Goodbye, ballet shoes. Goodbye. I'll probably get a comment or something going, No! Why did you throw the ballet shoes? This one character 17 hours from now needs them. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... Murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This, is, this way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Um. Yeah. About that, Papyrus. So, to catch other people up, we got a phone call after we did that little puzzle from previous episode, and he asked me what I was wearing, and I told him. My striped shirt, my pants, boots, and he asked about the bandana, so of course I said yes, because I'm in love with him. Aaron flexes in. You flex. Oh wait, no, no, no. A.A. Ron flexes twice as hard. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Oh. Damn it. A.A. Ron is ready for the next flex. Let's go. Oh. Nice. I won't lose, low. Oh, is that his sweat? Ew. He's ready for your next flex. Okay, three times the power. He flexes himself out of the room. I earned 30 gold. I'm half dead already. You eat one half of your bicycle. Your HP was maxed out. Nice, nice. Oh, another echo flower. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. I wish you could... Go to the other Echo Flowers to see if I could see more of the conversation. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Oh. Oh no. Sentient spaghetti. Uh, I can't move. Oh no. It's a sentient spaghetti monster. Hey there! Noticed you were... here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? You have a very poorly drawn face, Onion-san. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favourite. Aw, now you're happy. 
Never mind, you're sad. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Are you okay, dude? And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to go, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey! There. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall! I hope you make it to the ocean, my guy. I hope you do. Oh. Shyron hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Um. Hum? You hum a sad song. Shyron follows your melody. Oh. Sire, sire, simi. Oh god. Ow. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, well let's do it again then. Conduct. You wave your arms wildly and they are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Oh, that's cool. So she does sing. Bye-bye, Sharon. Bye-bye. The northern room hides a great treasure. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Well, I'm guessing, before I can get in the room, um, I need to go find the song, so... Let's try and find it, shall we? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monsters called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist even after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And now it never will. You got that right. Oh, hello. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem die, uh, dry. <laughs> seem die. <laughs> Please take one. Okay. Take an umbrella? Yes. You took an umbrella. Hey, statue. Here you go, buddy. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Oh, I know this song. It's um, it's his theme. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. This is one of the uh, the first songs I genuinely heard of Undertale. It's what made me actually listen to the sound of the soundtrack because it's so amazing. So we got circle up right, circle down down right. Okay, I can remember that. But, um, I genuinely still listen to this song to this day. It's on me, like, it's on my peaceful melodies. So it was, play the piano. It was that, up, right, this, down, down, right. Hey, we got it. Nice. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Annoying dog. Info. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Come on, buddy. You deployed the dog. The, the, the dog ate my loot. We're not going to talk about that. We're, we're not. 
How? How did he get in? What is that? How? How did he get in my pocket? Is that the same dog that bullied Papyrus? Info. Dog residue. A dog-shaped husk shed from a dog's carapace. The dog is a bug? What? <laughs> so the dog isn't even a dog. It's a, it's a bug of a beetle because it's got a carapace. Which means that that dog isn't even soft. It's got a hard exoskeleton. God, I love this song so much. Can we be cheeky and take another? Yes. Oh, nice. We can. And now I'm dry. But, um... So now the dog has a legendary artifact. Did we just create a boss? <laughs> Get to the end of the game. Final boss. Annoying dog. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, you can share this with me. No, no, come on. Get under the umbrella, my guy. I don't want you getting wet. Come on. Oh, look at that. Reflection physics. Man, Undying is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> but unlike you, my monster friend, we have an invention called adult diapers. So I will never wet the bed. I will stay dry and comfy the entire time. <laughs> oh, you okay? So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Volunteered to donate his own flowers. We ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undying came to the school? She could beat up all the teachers. But are your teachers mean? Like, you make Undying to be the coolest person ever. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. So what did I do, then? Oh, wow, I actually have to move her. Come on, little buddy. I don't even know your name. You're just my little buddy. Look at this environment. Like, this is just... What, one, two, three, five, six... Like, eight different colours... Ten different colours at most. But he's managed to make a castle, stars, a... I'm guessing that's the ocean for them. And even rock formations. I wish I could draw like this. It's so, it's so good. Oh, give me a second, little buddy. Yes, let's put the umbrella back. Yo! This ledge is way too steep. You want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Are you sure? Oh, I tried talking to him and it just kind of put me up. You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Are you okay? He is so enthusiastic. I absolutely love that. Like, everything I read about the monsters is they were torn down, trodden on, bullied, beaten by humans, but... Every single one of them I've met up to now has seemed, minus the like the little mini fights we have, has seemed so genuinely happy with um with their life, and I'm kind of happy that's happening. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Again, showing how bad we are. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and those monsters. Too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Oh. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Nice. Again, I do apologise for missing ten minutes of gameplay. I was muted. 
unfortunately. Well, this doesn't seem ominous. Oh. Um. Um. That's new. You'll never catch me. Oh wow, this one's way easier to dodge. Haha! I will go down! And you'll never see this coming, I'm going up! And down! Let's see you follow me now, loser! Okay, I went in one direction. This is such a fun mechanic. Okay. This one? Oh god, it got me. This way? It's getting faster, so she's definitely annoyed. Not that way. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at dodging these. And we made it to the end, let's go. Oh, never mind, it's still going, Jesus. Again, Undyne is literally built different. Um. Oh, oh no. Maybe you can sneak back past. Hello? Hello? Um, nice weather we're having. I'll see you on the other side. Ow. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Again. We've fallen down again. Are you okay? Here, get up. Stubs, huh? That's a nice name. My name... Oh. Oh. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands that you recognise. Yeah, you got Gucci, you got Prado, you got Prime. Just garbage. Damn. Powers of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognise. You got Nike. <laughs> what about this one? It's just garbage. The waterfall down here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. How does it fill me with determination exactly? I'm determined not to become a piece of trash? You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a hunk of despair. <laughs> oh, what's this? A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. And you are? It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. I will take one. Can I take another? Yes. Can I take more? Oh, it's empty. Never mind. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Oh, are you the training dummy from the beginning of the game? Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. I'm sorry, training dummy. My eyes belong to another. Papyrus. Oh. He didn't like that. Ha 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 ha. 
Tim intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. All I asked for them was to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human! I'll scare your soul out of your body. Is my YouTube channel really that bad? Damn. <laughs> Mad dummy. Check. 30 attack, defense, yes. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Okay. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, this music's really great. Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. No, 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 I don't want to attack you. Can I flee? Spare. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Go this way. Go this way. Go that way. I am not meaning to do that. It smells like a clothing store. Talk. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I am so sorry. It's fair. Oh wow, that is a lot of attacks. I am not even mean to hit him. Um, let's eat the Cinnabon. Nice. Everything will be mine! You know what, at this point you're just attacking yourself. Talk. Doesn't seem much for conversation, no one's happy about this. Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. They're getting caught in all over the dialogue box. <laughs> Talk to me, please! What was their name again? You forgot your own cousin's name. Lovely. Mad dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Spare. Whatever. 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 Mad dummy is getting cotton all over the. Okay, spare. Feeble. 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 I'm just going to keep sparing, just in case. Oh god. Foolish! Are you done now? Hey guys! Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, you're all fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical worlds fill the, the room. Spare. Dummy! Bots! Magic missile! Still hit you. Try again. I love this music. It's so good. Oh, he's bossing around the bullets. You're awful. It seems like it's everyone's fault but yours. Oh my god. I'm getting quite good at dodging though. Final attack. Oh no. Oh my god. Go! 
Are you done now? No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. Oh. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. <laughs> what? what? What the heck is this? Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Bye. Nav's the block! Let's go! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer.